to the desk of that room. Uh, Brandon, the first talk about uh, display managers, he's sick with the flu. And I asked uh, Alice to say something, have some talk, and he said to delight us with the KD Slim book. All yours. Um, ours. Well, so yes, we didn't have. Whoa. How do we remove that? That is the question, isn't it? Well, well, closed. <laughs> Solved. So, yes, Pau told us that uh, there was some space to talk about things. We don't really have anything prepared, so we said, let's do a Q&A over the KD Slim, Slim book, which means we're here, but we also need the, the, the Q part, which would come from you. Um, to make it a bit, little bit less awkward, we can introduce the project a little bit. No? It will be, I don't know. It's a bit less awkward. So uh, I'm going to show you the device. You can open. Conquist Leaf not included. It's a great <laughs> laptop featuring a, a KD logo on top, merged in the Slimbook logo. It's a brilliant clone of a MacBook Air. Um, it has a, a, a keyboard with all of the letters and even some numbers. <laughs> a sticker with, with a, a, a penguin. Not really know what it's coming from. Also, also it has a penguin on a, on a, on a key. <laughs> See? Well, yeah. The penguin is actually a sticker on the previously penguinless key. Oh, but that's cool now, isn't it? <laughs> But we are working on it. So that was the first cue. You get five points there. <laughs> There's no raffle, though. So. Now, I would love to have a raffle. But that's not the case. Also, it has a touchpad. It has a full HD screen. Intel processors for all of us who like processors. And well, that's the idea. SSSD, hard disk, well, solid But what's the most disk. relevant part about it? Well, 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 well. Building up. OK. <laughs> Harold will tell us the most relevant well, part. Oh, so the most relevant part is this is running Plasma by default. Um, this device comes pre-shipped with KD Neon, so it always has the latest Plasma on it, and you can just start it up, set up your user, and you're good to go. So for us, it was interesting, us as KDE, like Harold and I have been working on, on KDE together for a really, really long, long time, and whenever people came to us and said, you are doing really great things. How do we use what you do? It was like, yeah, you go to a store where they have laptops. These laptops will come with Windows on it. Just scratch that. And then you f format your hard disk. You partition it because it's really important that you partition it. And then you install Linux on it. And then you install Plasma on it because, well, that's what actually what we do. Uh, and then you will have a device running the, the wonderful free software we, we, we make. But, well, then, a lot of people get lost in the, in, 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 on the track. And, well, now we will be able to tell people, if you want to test what we do in KDE, just buy this device or go to the store and, well, do the whole process is, if that's what you liked. And, and that's perfectly fine as well. Um, well, now you have the opportunity, I said. You can make the questions, and we will try to answer them. Would it be possible to run GNOME on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, the Slimbook people have been selling uh, laptops with Linux for a while now, and they already had a wide range of, of distros available. Of course, it won't be a GNOME Slimbook. I mean, you, it will be a normal Slimbook where you have installed Fedora or Ubuntu or whatever you want on it. And then you can just get this device and, well, format it. <laughs> or, or just do apt install GNOME on desktop or something like that. I guess it will be in Ubuntu. It's, it, uh, Neon is based on <coughs> Ubuntu after, after all. So, well. more, more serious question. Um, as it copies the, the Apple design, uh, don't you have to fear that uh, people who are not into uh, free and open source software would just see it as a 
a cheap copy of a MacBook. We we didn't work on the on the design of the device. <laughs> what do you think? I think that uh, the hardware business is really complex, and KDE has tried to get into it in the past and got really burnt. So for us, the important part is to be able to have devices to get into people's hands, and that's the important part. Um, so I think there's there's two points to this. First of all, for us as KDE, the device itself, the important bit is that it that it works and that we have it, right? This is basically getting our foot into the door of uh, uh, getting into hardware. Ideally, we would have uh, more devices, right? Um, we have done uh, mobile projects in the past for, for mobile phones. Uh, we've also done tablet projects. And one of the big problems is we, as the KDE community, we do not have the experience in dealing with hardware, right? By partnering up with uh, companies, we get them to contribute to the hardware experience. We contribute the software experience, and so can, we can build something something better together, right? And the second uh, point of view is, I think, yeah, it, it, there's clearly a point there. Um, if it looks a lot like a MacBook, then yeah, it does look like a cheap knockoff. On the other hand, I would argue that the MacBook is probably one of the better devices and the better looking devices. So if you're doing a knockoff, at least do it of something really good. So that's the way to look at it. Well, there are models with uh, discrete video cards. The question is if there's going to be a model with a uh, discrete video card. Uh, the answer is no. I don't think we're even looking into that. So no. Well, one of the things about the project is that if another manufacturer wanted to do a laptop with KD, we could look into that, right? And if that manufacturer decided that they have a discrete uh, graphics card, we could even consider it. But we haven't considered it both because we don't have another manufacturer and because what, we just are happy that to have this one out at the moment. Also, personally, I don't really think it's it's something very important. Maybe it is. Any other questions? So how fast it is uh, with, the, with the integrated uh, Intel uh, video card? <coughs> well, it's perfect. Did you take, did you take some uh, time to optimize it for uh, Intel drivers? Uh, uh, on the last 10 years, I've been using Intel drivers, and I've been super happy. I mean, it could be better, but for normal desktop usage, compiling doesn't go all that faster when you're using a discrete graphics card. So that's... Uh, I would say that it's fast enough to run Plasma. <coughs> well, that was surprisingly fast. <laughs> okay. Little by little. Sure. Or I can leave it here if somebody wants to come. I don't know. Just don't bite on it. It would be weird. Um, what is the manufacturer? The Slimbook. Uh, Slimbook. The, your, their URL is slimbook.es. They are based in Valencia, Spain. Okay. Do you have any anecdote we can talk about? Not really. What is the price? Uh, th there are two main versions, one with uh, Intel i5, which starts at 700 euros with 128 uh, gigabytes of disk, then 4 gigabytes of RAM, then it scales up to 1,100 something with i7 and half a terabyte of disk and 60 gigabytes of RAM. There's uh, the possibility to get it with a couple of different um, well, components. I was thinking about uh, keyboard layouts. Oh, okay. 
like, sorry, uh, like different like German uh, friends and so on, which basically will be the same disposition, but with like the keys differently arranged and components. Well, you can choose which Wi-Fi card you want. It's not that it matters. Well, yeah, both support Wi-Fi, and. Well, no, that's not the original one, <laughs> because that one doesn't have KD in it. Well, this is not a K an Apple thing, right? Yeah, the weird um, thing is for the Ethernet, because they couldn't fit it, so... I have the adapter there if you're oh, curious. Dongle, yeah, there's a dongle. It's USB to it's too no, 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 it's not USB. It's their own weird thing. Some oh. weird thing, yeah. Actually, I think that you can purchase a hub kind of, kind of thing that you can use for also screen things and so on. I don't have it, so I cannot really tell you. As I said, from uh, yeah, 700. The, the website and yeah, the let, uh, let's open the website again. It's between 700 and 1,000 and something euros. I will show you the gallery, but you have the device, so I bother. So that's the um, minimum I said with an i5. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot. And um, as I said, you have a bunch of things you can configure. I don't know, it's a normal page. And of course, what uh, in practice, how it works is that you actually make the purchase to Slimbook, not to KDE whatsoever. There is a small donation that will uh, happen between uh, Slimbook and, and KDE. Then we provided them with an ISO that that will be installed on the devices. Um, yeah. So what kind of warranty are you guys giving with the actual hardware? Well, uh, it's not us guys who give the guarantee, it's Slimbook, but then it's a normal European Union um, guarantee of two years where you basically send them the device, they fix it and get it back to you. What Sorry, what? What about the drivers? Have they open for making everything run? The back lights, uh, um, yeah. So, in theory, I mean, I haven't tested it, but in theory, if you use any Linux, it's just going to work because all the drivers are open. So there are no binary blobs. The the Wi-Fi driver is Intel. Graphics is Intel. Um, touchpad definitely <coughs> runs through PS Mouse module. So nothing nothing uh, proprietary about it. <coughs> Understandably. Understandably. 
Um, are there future uh, production plans? Slimbook Dust has plans for other devices. We haven't talked about any further partners, like extending the partnership to other devices. Now that we have the conversation going, it's something that could happen. It's not something we've pursued just yet. But, well, our focus at the moment is to get this one right. It's not like to say, and now we're going to do laptops forever because... <coughs> Actually, it's coming more from the frustration that we're doing the laptop more than we think that we should be doing laptop, right? I mean, if the market had been as good as we'd like, maybe we wouldn't have for it that much. Maybe we would, and it's the right thing to do, right? But um, in any case, we're not going to get rich with it either, so... <laughs> My treasure. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Each of two countries that permit software patents, and if so, are you aware of being sued? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, you want me to repeat the question? You are doing some. What about it? Well, the question was if we if the devices uh, ship to America, right? Yeah, and, and there are more countries, right? And other countries where they have patents and software patents. Software patents. I, I am not really aware of any device having been shipped there. And well, it's Slimbook's decision to, to send it there. Uh, I think that their policy is just you buy it and we're going to ship it to you. And if it's stopped at the customs or anything, it's more your problem than theirs. But yeah, I, I don't really have all of the information. So do you think it would be a big problem to sell these devices in US? Well, I was packaging an uh, application into Fedora. It, had, it was a, something like Docker, Docker in Mac OS. And when you put a cursor over an icon, it was uh, zoomed in like this, the, this the effect that Apple had. And I was not sure if contact is Fedora legal, and so Calabais told me, Code must go away. So, so I wrote a patch to, to remove the feature. Must be not prison. To be clear on patents. So we uh, went ahead and there. Okay. So I was like, okay, if you say so, I'll do it. <laughs> well, we'll be aware of it. Anyhow, any other question? Maybe we can leave it here. We will have a long break, and then I will start again. Oh, thank you. More of you. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs>